This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Use code 249NUTS to get 249 domain registration or transfer. Defense Soap. Use code MMA Nuts for 15% off your entire order. Hey fans, this is MMA Notes episode 154. 154, bitch. My name is Ingo bitch. Weigold. <laughs> Matt bitch. Grimmett, bitch. This is MMA <laughs> oh. show by MMA fans, for MMA fans, where we walk the line between serious and ridiculous. <laughs> my whirling <laughs> dervish, Ingo. I turn it on. I'm fucking half awake. I lost my power. I'm turning it back on. Almost got run over by a car. Retard driving. What? I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> Caffeine's kicking in. Something happened. Holy fuck! Two two and a half seconds ah! ago, this guy was bas- basically <laughs> passed out, and now he's like bouncing off the wall. Is that, it's Are you switch. on drugs? Maybe. <laughs> okay. He snorted some ADHD medicine. Well, I wasn't looking. Actually, I did snort something before the show, <laughs> like, but it was hey. an inhaler because I couldn't breathe and I couldn't talk. So. Yeah. Okay. It only expired in 2011. Well, breathing is, is that bad. Uh, no, it just means it's not. The active ingredients likely are is not. Is this working. bad? And you have a, a placebo effect. Keep you talking. I'm going to yeah. adjust my mic. Okay. Excuse um, me while I check so, this. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't going to be loud. <laughs> so um, sorry. I blew out your speakers again. Mm, fire, bad. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a great strange, show, Ingo. I better. Dr- I'm going to fucking pound. Go. Okay. What's well, happening? I Good don't weekend. Know. What's going on? The weekend's been all right. My kids are. My kid has been fucking a lunatic. Wait, he has been. Wait, a, what? <laughs> no, he, can, you, he has been a lunatic. Check the lunatics in your town. Yes. So, um, you know, for you people out there with kids, I'm sure you Good understand. Luck. Sometimes they are just fucking creepy. They're man. Fucking assholes. There's something sometimes. wrong with these kids. He's four and a half, and I mean, he just. I don't know. We just. You know, we just had a baby and. I understand it's from it's like a little weird for him right now, but fucking a man. <laughs> Sometimes you wish they were older so you could just fucking choke them out. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you mean? You can do it right now. Just no, put them on lockdown. That's what I used to do. Yeah, well, you just gotta hold them. Give them a good but I'll tell you squeeze. this. What? Which is cool. This weekend, the wife and I were having cocktails, and she was like, "What do you think about me taking them to uh, jujitsu class to have a check them, have them check it out and see if we can get them enrolled?" I was like, "Really?" I said, "Yes." I said. You even have to ask me if I approve of that. Like, <laughs> done. Yes, go. So he's gonna go tomorrow and check it out, and uh, hopefully he'll be interested. And I think he needs some sort of physical release. He does gymnastics every week, but I think once a week is not enough. Give him some striking too. More. <laughs> Great. Make a killer out of. I told him. you. He's, I, I when he's over here, he's eyeballing my heavy bag. He's like, like oh, what's that for? Yeah. You know, punch and kick that. Like, is that for little boys? Like, <laughs> oh yeah. We gotta ask daddy first. Yeah. We'll see. You can let him do it. Oh, <laughs> good. It's not me you have to worry about. It's my wife. Well, <laughs> like that's the thing. We can trade him here and send him home. Uh, yeah. And while I burn. No. Want some Red Bull? It's all good. <laughs> Red Bull. So. First, we drink Red Bulls. Then we train hard. If he's going to be training any martial art, I need to get a black belt ASAP so I can fuck him up in case he gets out of line. Like, you know, can't have him be more experienced than me. Well, so. especially if he's going to start that dog. <laughs> he's going to get fucked up. Yeah. He's going to fuck your shit up. <laughs> like, Dad, here's the move I learned today. Kick to the balls. <laughs> Ding. And, I, and then he's got this Tabasco bottle in his other <laughs> hand. Here's the next move. <laughs> As you're, oh. Yeah. Um, Son of a bitch. Damn you, bastard. There you go. So um, good. Maybe we should have him on the show. Um, hey. Sure. We what? should ask the fans while they're still watching because it's early <laughs> enough in the show. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, you always make it all the way to the end. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, right. Who do you guys want to see us talk to? I mean, don't tell me John Jones because everybody talks to John Jones. Like, I don't, do you really want to talk to him anyway? Not really. Uh, I, I'm Dave Velasquez. I hear he's a barn burner of an interview. <laughs> right. Give us some Shane ideas. Carwin. We're looking for guys who maybe fringe like. Matt likes to say, or I like the friend. Interesting people that in are in the scene. Maybe not necessarily MMA. It could be like fringe MMA. But if you have an idea, send us an email or Facebook us, and we'll try to make it happen. We have a cool one coming up later in the week. That's right. We'll probably give a mention. Yep. New story number. Those. 
Speaking of news, what you got going on over there? Well, here's the deal. So, Kent Singano is supposed to coach next season the Ultimate Fighter, opposite coach of Ronda Rousey. So, Kent Singano allegedly injures her knee. She didn't have surgery, according to you. I, fu- I don't fucking know. She pulls out, and now Misha Tate's taking her place. I don't know, but I'm saying something smells a little bit fishy here. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, what what would be the motivation for getting Misha Tate in there? Because there's a grudge match. They've fought once. It's a better it's like a story. Bigger... It's an easier sell. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that Cat actually has a chance of beating Ronda. So that oh, might... she's getting the Chris Cyborg treatment. Could be. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know that Ronda's mother was upset about the whole oh way, the way this whole thing was handled, and I'm not sure. It's like a dick move and this and that. Why? How? Who cares what her mom says? First of all. No disrespect, but shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares what you think. You're okay? fucking it right. No one cares. We care what Rhonda thinks. I know. Do I get you? It. Do you really care? I, personally, you don't give Personally, I don't care. I No, I mean, God no, her mother was an Olympian, obviously. I'm just kidding. But in general, don't we don't care. So the point is, is she got all pissed off about it. And it's like, what does she know? I don't know. It's It, it just doesn't seem like conspiracy. It just seems like. It seems like conspiracy. Yeah, but if she had surgery, she's injured. Did she really? I don't know. Pictures or get the fuck out. Show me the scars. Something. Uh, the gash. I don't the care. G- oh. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. up enough. I think the result won't be much different. You think a Rousey arm, arm bar? Break her arm again? No, I, I you know, I think it, the, the, the trouble with Rousey is if you get close, she throws you. So it's like, what are you going to do? Tate had the right idea, but she just, I don't. I don't know. I think Cat has better chance because she's also good on the ground. So yep. I mean, Tate can be tough and let her arm get broken, but I mean, she still loses the fight. So. <laughs> That's but true. It, it does make for a better story and more interesting. And why can't Cat coach? St- why you know? I don't know because I think they want to use the whole coach and then fight at the end. Otherwise, you okay. wasted the promotion. I see. Unless someone wants to do a movie like uh, Mr. T. Like in Rampage Jackson, you lose that whole opportunity. But I don't give a fuck. I would have just let her coach. I'm with you. We'll fight at a later date. Yeah. But I'm not a TV executive. Neither. And, nope. and we don't own the UFC. No. So. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> right. What is it we plot? We're rhyming and stealing. Over I don't want to own the UFC. That's, That's a lot, a lot of work. work. <laughs> no. That guy's not sleeping. I don't want to be on no. those kind of drugs. That's, uh, fuck that. So we'll move right along. So speaking of the USC and marijuana, so they finally fucking raised their limits. What is so the World Anti Doping Agency WADA fucking raises their limit from I think it was fifteen to one fifty. Yes. And I believe the UFC was at fifty, whatever the little nanogram micro decibels. Yeah, I don't know. Micro, whatever. Micrograms. It it's one hundred and twenty decibels of micro Fucking hurt your ears. It's like a big jet balls. airliner. Something or other. So, the UFC raises their level. We we talked to Keith Kaiser. We'll have our. We did. We'll have our. What is it? Is that an interview, or a show? It was a guest on the show, man. A guest on the show. He, guest on. The he's show. he's a good talker. Let me just say Keith that. Keith loves to speak. Let me. Yes. He's a good talker. He has a lot to say, and we got it all on video, and it's coming out in a couple of yeah. days. So. And he seems uh, open to the marijuana plight. He wants to smoke up. <laughs> it should look like it. I don't know. I'm not going to say he gets he high, was, but he gets pretty high, happy. Man. He was a happy guy. It's cool. Cool uh, guy, happy guy. You know, I don't know what he's doing in Vegas. He's was he even in Vegas? Catching rays and banging chicks or something. I don't know. He's married. He's catching rays and looking at chicks. You know, we do have his wife's Skype account. <laughs> <laughs> he's very trusting. He called us from his wife's. Apparently, this was the first time he's ever used Skype before. So... And he gave gave me his wife's. He's like, "You guys aren't gonna put this out there, are you?" I'm like, "No, Keith, <laughs> of course not." Well, now I don't know. Well, I was joking. Should I have my pants on or off for this interview? Because the last time I called, he I had just randomly off. call his wife randomly, <laughs> just in the middle of the night. Just he's a joke. But anyway, totally joking. Anyway, not really. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Send you pictures of your asshole. To his wife. <laughs> I would never do that. I don't have a big black cock, so I'm not, you're not gonna get those. That would be weird that. if you did. So. That that might be illegal. So marijuana is this a big deal? What? It seems like it's not anymore. So 
okay, so all these they UFC, WADA, and now Nevada is probably going to do it also. But for the UFC, all it means is that in the in international cards, mm-hmm. they've, they've now upped their limit, or cards where there's not a sanctioning body right. that they follow. So really, does it really mean anything in the U.S. at this time? I think no, correct? And not until Nevada changes it, and then once he does, then fucking everyone else will follow suit. Right, and Keith did say, like you mentioned, that they have a plan to follow suit, and I don't know how soon this meeting will be, but he sounded like it, it sounds be like fairly it's going to be within a month, but that's yeah. just my guess. I, yeah. um, it may by the time no the show problem. comes out, it may have already been announced. Who knows? I mean, seems like a pretty rah rah guy. Fucking could have had this meeting on Friday, you know? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's already done. It's yeah. already done. Yeah. Fucking tomorrow will be good. out. The show will be out, and then he will be out. Yeah. Of the closet? Something like that. Sure. Any other news? Yeah, um, let me see if I can pull this up. So, you see this hand karate? No. Should have pulled this up. I would have fucking completely crashed my computer here. Trying to bring up a YouTube? No, it's just a fucking g- GIF, but... Should we talk about something else while that's loading? No, it's all good. So, I saw this. I have it on here. Yours. It's a little. Well, that's not it. <laughs> that's oh, there we go. He's got his porn. Oh, the gifs. Is this the next fucking Olympic sport? Oh. Oh, he's gonna smash that thing. Oh. No. <laughs> the gif is loading slow. Heck, it... oh, I missed. Oh, that looks like it hurt his fucking finger. Yeah. And uh, he throws a little fucking tantrum. It's like, uh... but anyway. It's like that hand. It works better if it's full speed. Skateboard thing. Find out that dialed in. It looks pretty sweet. The guy's dialed up. I want to play. You know, the thing about GIFs is I I have a high-end computer at home, and the fucking thing's barely. It's like something about the the GIF is like bullshit. I can tell you why they're not good. Why? The zombie prophet didn't do it. If it's not zombie prophet, get the fuck out or something. Go fuck your mother. Joey Diaz did that. Yeah. And then last thing, if we're moving. This is going to be a quick show. Um, it doesn't matter. What's going on with Jenna Jameson and Tito Ortiz? Apparently, like, they're getting divorced. And there's this bitter custardy. Custardy? <laughs> the, he, had too, he put too much custard in her asshole. And he <laughs> yeah, didn't lick it out nicely. Goddamn custardy battles. You got to get a straw, Tito. Make custody. that woman happen. <laughs> anyway, so she's been tweeting out pictures of, like, alleged... Hey, look at this uh, steroid drawer and this painkiller drawer. Well, she allegedly sent out another one, and here's the pic that went out of his drawer. Nice. Still those? Apparently, he's into big black cocks, too. Nice, dude. It's so, it's so strange. Actually, the drawer... That's a legend. The, the, I'm just saying. <laughs> I might have just been an image I pulled up. The drawer... The drawer she showed was like looked like syringes for cauliflower ear and ibuprofen. So it's like what? Yeah. Uh, I. Yeah, if you're gonna take a picture, fucking do it right. That's all I'm saying. She should know. I like you know what? Why? I, I I have always thought Tito was crazy, but in this respect, I give him a lot of props because he came out and I think it was Bleacher Report or one of those sites that mm-hmm. had his retort to this whole thing and. All he pretty much was said was, you know, I take care of my kids 24-7. I'm there for Did you read this? No. Okay. Proceed. Yeah, he came out and he, he said, basically, from morning to night, he wakes up, he feeds them, he changes them, he takes them to school, he picks them up from school, he puts them to bed. You know, she's not, she's an absent mom. And they have custody issues right now, and apparently she never, she never shows up. He's like, she's out partying and doing appearances and whatever else, and he's home taking care of his kids. I can like, put my shoulder out on that move. <laughs> nice. So, so uh, getting old over there. You need some TRT. Or and, some uh, medicine. The, uh, you know, the thing is, is like, he, he's, he seems like he's a good dad from the way he talks. And he didn't come out and attack her. He said, this is hurting my kids. Like, she just needs to, like, stop with this bullshit because it's, it's, it's over. They're getting a divorce. Move on. Stop being crazy. You know, if she's, well, I don't know why she's got to be crazy. It's like she could be a dick anytime well, she wants. Crazy is as crazy does. But you can't change that shit. Tito, let me say, if you ever, if you watch the show, who knows, or if you've ever seen our show, you married a porn star. What what did you expect was going to happen? You know? It, it, the, the chick was crazy <laughs> from day one. It's Right. Like, I mean, you knew what you're getting into. Yeah. So, 
Sorry, a, man. A woman who's had a lot of dick, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, it's not. It's you know? just she's crazy. Right. So, you know, that's you can't what you get. fix crazy. He said he's been trying to help her for a long time with substance abuse problems and whatever else. And... That's unfortunate. What are you going to do? You got caffeine free over there? Yeah. I don't want to get too great. I'm already I think sponsored I already, by Zevia. Fuck yeah, you guys, what's up? I don't want to pay $6 for six cans, you fucking bitches. Bitch is the word. Look at That's a slow pour. Hiss. You hear it hissing? Look at Anaconda. I'm kind of addicted to the, um, the grape Which one. one is really good. That's, I think that might be their best one. You want to lose your mind? Try the strawberry. I, don't, I didn't get that in my uh, sample. Oh, your mix? Yeah. I, I didn't, good, I didn't like the grape. I like the orange. I like the orange grape. Good. Grape. Grape's no good. Yeah, the grapes taste weird. Grape's bad. The Regular ginger Coke. ale was gross. That? I've had it. I mean, it's. I'll drink it if there's nothing left. My yeah. kids like that one, but not good. The Doctor Zevia is one of my favorites. And Mountain then, Zevia. Yeah. Well, the Mountain Zevia seems like it has extra caffeine. It does. Like, That's the highest. Of the <laughs> like, oh my god. The Cherry Coke is interesting. There's it's no not. Caffeine. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's got a cherry flavor to it because oh. the regular Coke's just like there's no flavor. Yeah. I like the Black Cherry. Did you have that? There's no Try caffeine, that. but it's black cherry. It's like it's it's clear. It's not dark. I don't know what that means. Not black. Oh, then boom! Down with the blackness. That's right. Is that all the news you have, sir? That's it. Let's move. Let's get into this Let's go to week's Brazil. show. I should go to Brazil. UFC on Fuel TV. No Gary. Oh my God! Doing. We were just in Brazil, and we're back in Brazil. Apparently, this is the finale of the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Who knew? I didn't know. I didn't either Did until I saw that? this. I was like, really? I watched some of the other one. Can you watch them online? Uh, somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know about this one because I haven't heard anybody talking about it. No, this is happening June 8th in uh, Genacio Paulo Sarasate. God bless you. Venue in Fortaleza, Brazil. Um, it's on fuel. I probably won't watch it because you know I who don't else have has fucking a hot fuel. Wife? Oh. Iago Silva. Oh, really? I saw someone posted a gif of her on... she Brazilian? <laughs> yeah, she is. She is built. She might have be in the Hot Wife Part 2. Mm, she so remember the... that mental note. Let's see what happens here. All Ready? right. First uh, fight? I guess, man. A fucking... We're plowing through a whopping two fights. This is probably the best card of the year, if I even watch it. Well, that's I like the syringes. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Sorry. Going to the politically correct one. We got Thiago. <laughs> what is, is I don't he think he has ball? a nickname. No, that's all this. Oh, damn it. Silva. He's 14 and 3 versus Rafael. Vejo. Rafael. Cavalcante. He's uh, 11 and 3. Silva, 79% of his wins by KO, 14% by submission. Vejo. 91% by KO, 9% by submission. Uh, I'm just going to say War of the Drug Offenders. Throw some fucking syringes in the octagon. First one to shoot up wins. Yeah, that what's out. what's the over under on this becoming a no contest at some point? <laughs> it's like who's gonna fail first? But it is in Brazil, so are they even? Gonna, oh, then you it's know all what? Good. Well, we've raised the limits, so you guys can smoke as much weed as you want now. Weed smoking and steroids will. Yeah, be so BRT. Just start with, with. Aren't they both coming off drug fucking yes. tests? Yeah, Feijal for steroids, steroids and, and Silva for weed, but two fights prior to that was for steroids. Steroids, so yes. He's still fresh, so what do you see going on here? Well, the, the funny thing is I think these guys are very, fairly similar in their, in their approach to the game. One thing I'll say is that um, um, with the ground game being fairly equal, the stand-up is, is quite different, I think. I think you got Feijal, who's more of a really heavy hitter, man, and he's got a ridiculous overhand right. Yeah, I and remember him knocking Henderson down. <laughs> yes. Right? And then Henderson go tumbling and yeah, he went and flying, man. And... This guy's been all you know, he's he's knocking fools crazy. And Silva has more of a ground and pound top game, whereas his strike his stand up striking is more like plotting and just kind of like, real he's just he's yeah, not very technical. Here. Leg kick there. Yeah. And Feijao has ridiculous low kicks. Like he, he throws those crazy kicks all the time. Um so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking on the ground it's going to be fairly even, and I doubt Silva can get top control where he's going to be able to ground and pound. So I'm, I'm thinking Feijal by, by power and ridiculous, you know, 
TRT <laughs> is going to knock out yeah, Silva. Yeah, TRT, go ahead. Late we'll, first round approved. KO is what I'm thinking. Uh, Feijia will win. Uh, I, I think it just Silva's too awkward and too plotting and not quite good enough in the stand-up. And if you look, what is it, Ned? Ned, Ned yeah, Zenko? that guy. That was a horrible fight for him. I, he lost the first two rounds, and then that dude gassed out, and he came back. Yeah. And I think he arm trialed them or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's on the decline of his career. You know, I, I like the guy, but sorry, man. I think it's not going to happen this time. What do you say? So who did you take? Sejo. By knockout, first round. Okay. Late. I think I'm going to agree with that. Because I'm looking at the stats, and if Silva has won, I think it's one of his last six fights. Granted, two of those were overturned because one was for weed and one was for steroids, but still, it, it just doesn't doesn't pan uh, out well. And that's a weird thing, too, because how is this guy still in the fucking UFC if he's tested, like, within three fights, one for steroids, one for weed, how are you still in the UFC? I don't know. Typically, you get cut, or they don't consider weed an offense anymore. They do. Look at Pat Healy. Well, it's unfortunate. Let's do all this after we've, you know... Robbed him of his bonus money. Now we're going to raise the limits. Can, can he at least get half? At half? I don't know. So the the only thing that I see tough for Feijal is just coming up. He's, it's a year off. Year off for yeah. this guy. So Haven't they both had a while off, though? Yeah. I mean, I don't remember Silva. He Well, he had a six-month suspension for weed. I don't know the exact time as to his last fight. But... Feijal also, this will be his first fight in the UFC since all this strike force shit and coming over. Mm-hmm. I still take him. And the, the tough thing is, too, it's Brazil versus Brazil in Brazil, Ingo. Who can I pick? Brazil! Fuck yeah. I take <laughs> Feijal. Who's more Brazilian? I'd yeah. say. But isn't Feijal a black Zillion? Yeah, he is. Oh, no. But they've been on a run of late. <laughs> it's a kiss of death right no, there. No, they've been on a run. They're, they're, they're winning ways. They're coming back. You go. Mm. I'm going to take uh, Fei Zhao first round TKO. <laughs> I'm going to go, fuck. Okay. First Not... one to inject wins or something. Moving right along, you go. <laughs> Where are you? I don't sponsors? have a magic eight ball. Oh, oh no! no! We have it's sponsors! All... Wait, I got to get an eight ball pick. We have <laughs> to go back. Can you, what are we do doing? Do you want to get that? <laughs> You want me to get it? Go, Ingo, go get it! What I'll you, get it. Hang on. What are you doing? I'm going to use an app. I'm confused. There's an eight ball right there. I I can see I'm, it. My mind's going to fall off. I'll get it if you want. Go get it then, please. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to move because my mic will fall. Uh, eight ball. Thanks. Maybe I should let you do the eight ball pick. Why? Because the reply won't be hazy. No. Who else does the magic? By the way, the Magic Eight Ball is still winning. It's kind of fucking disgusting. Don't worry about that. Uh, Thiago Silva. All right. Enjoy your pick, Eight Ball. You fucking dickhead. Sponsors. We have DefenseSoap.com. Use code MMA now to save fifteen percent on everything. I want to save twenty. Defense soap. I found out about a product this week that I didn't even know they fucking had. They have a foot wash for gym. Check this out. Go. So, um, your 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 boy is it a little Mexican guy? <laughs> no, he comes in. That would be he epic. Fucking washes your he just feet. washes your feet. He's a midget. Though, hey, so. gringos. Uh, no, it, it's uh Dwayne Ludwig posted about this. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm ready. Yeah. He's standing in the foot washer and he's like tweeting about the fence soap. So genius idea. It's a little bucket yeah. with the fence soap solution. When you get off the mat or on the mat, yeah. I would assume before you get on, you watch you step step in there and wash your feet and get on okay. the mat so that. I think 90% of the germs that end up on, you know, wrestling mats and stuff is keeping your feet. Well, yeah. Because remember, like, when we used to train at that one facility, you you had to take your shoes off before you could even walk in. Right. Because you're either barefoot or in sock. Yeah. But so then you'll go to the down. bathroom and there's piss on the floor yeah, and that yeah. gets on the... So, you know, that's the whole idea. It's genius. If you own a gym, use that code, man. Genius! Else, 15% off. Buy your fucking gym and foot washer. Save yourself staph infection and all that other nasty well, shit. Couldn't you just hire a guy for, like, minimum wage? Mexican? That's his job. He doesn't have to be Mexican. Yeah, but he doesn't take code MMA nuts. The fence soap does. But I bet you he takes it in the big, ass. He probably takes big black cock. That's fine. It's like <laughs> the guys, when you go to those high-end facilities and they have the guys that wash your hands for you or they give you the towel. Are it's you talking about strip clubs? I don't know. If they're going to wash something, they could at least wash my balls. 
Do something important. Shave them for me. Shave your balls? Fine. Make them look pretty. Yeah. Draw little faces on them. A little smiley face on <laughs> one, a little angry face on the other. Okay. So it's like the theater of pain, Motley Crue style. I like it. I don't know where that reference came from, but Speaking enjoy. of Motley Crue, we're also Go. sponsored by GoDaddy. <laughs> And do you have the codes this week? Yeah, you get, we've got three running. Okay. We'll start with 249.com or transfer. It's 249 nuts. You get three 495.coms if you want to get crazy with the code MMA nuts. Or the new one this month, 35% off your first order. That's 35 off six. Yeah. Deal, bitches. You can get lots of stuff. We've actually used a code and saved ourselves many a dollars. When you're upgrading server capacities. Oh, yeah. We used our own code. Fucking, we bought, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, dedicated. I don't know how we're supposed to, but we did. They so told us keep to. Keep it on the side. They told, well, us, they told us to use someone else. I said, use ours. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We saved, I'm saying. Saved you can save monies. Money. Save yes, monies. Did. Yeah, we saved, like, 800 bucks or something crazy. <laughs> I'll just tell you this. Which, you... I don't even know why they're not giving us free servers. It's kind of bullshit. I know. Whatever. We paid them. They pay us. Danica will it's be all on the show. Is she, is she free? Let's get her on. Low jobs. Done, Ingo. Is that <laughs> wife <be> approved? <laughs> hey, it's all in the name it's of the show. It's part of the show. It's it's part of yes. It's part of this the is show. My job, okay. I'm a professional. That's right. <laughs> okay. I'm going right from suck to blow. Now. I'm not sure. Glory hole. <laughs> I have quite the big house. I have quite the uh, glory holes everywhere. Carpenter uh, slash wood. I don't get that genre of porn. It Which doesn't one? make sense. The glory hole. Like, Why? It's not glorious. No, it just seems strange. Like, first of how all, so? how fucking ridiculous you got to be to stick your cock through the wall and hope something good's gonna come of it. Well, uh, well, are there eye holes so you can at least see what's no, going on? Not usually. Oh, that's no good. So how do you know no. what? Well, how do you know they don't have one of those guillotines just ready <laughs> to chop your banana chop off? Your, exactly. Fuck that shit, man. Anyway, I can't see where my dick's going. I I'm not, not partaking. It's just funny. I find it funny. Some of the it's literally true that you could Google anything you want, and I guarantee you there is a website dedicated to your fucked up fetish. It's like you could have like a worm. I don't know what what's elephant, that? Elephant Richard cock. Gear, elephant cock. Richard Gear Hamster, Gerbil, 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 Gerbil Ham, Ham, Hamster. There's probably Hammer a website time. dedicated to just this. So, hey, if you're fucking weird and you want to start your own website, remember the GoDaddy code. Don't forget. We have lots of them. Did you give them out? Yes. Okay. Speaking of which, Bruce Lee's a fan. Where are we at? Be water, my friend. That's right. I don't fear the man who practices a thousand kicks. I, pr- I fear the man. Who practices one kick a thousand times? Damn I heard, right. I heard another good one recently. Go. Said the fox has many tricks, but the badger has one. Highly effective. Is it? What, what's the badger do? Fuck shit up. <laughs> Is it like Wolverine? <laughs> yeah. Just okay. fucking, like he just shoots a fucking honey badger. <laughs> goes bananas. Fucking goes crazy. That's what we should make. Honey badger. Or honey, like, on the on the grill. I don't know. <laughs> Cook it? Sure. Something should be basted with honey. <laughs> okay. All right, done. Let's move right along. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Yeah, I think me. I should drink more. Main event! I'm going to take a big fucking gulp. Why does Chuck Norris have to be uh, thrusting his crotch in my I general see direction? Chuck, Chuck Norris balls. And his ass. His in coxicles. Shot. He doesn't have testicles. He has coxicles. <laughs> That's how badass he is. Chuck Norris should do the show. He should. He might. I don't know. We'll have a fan vote. Maybe let's post that on Facebook. What? And then uh, who, everyone can uh, like who our next guest should be on the show. And then everyone will throw a suggestion in. And then you like the person most. Like so, someone says Chuck Norris, and then everyone's like, Yeah, yeah. You keep liking that. Whichever one has the most likes, we'll get them on the show. Assuming we can get Chuck Norris, which would be epic. I, I think we can get anybody that's out there on the show. Okay. I will lay down the gamut. Here we go. Here's an MMA Nuts Challenge. You request it. The person that gets the most votes, I will get on the show. Okay. I'll take a personal challenge. Right. And if I don't, I don't know what the retribution will be, but I'm willing to accept it. Okay. I'll let the fans vote for the retribution. If I can't get that person on, you can you vote for what glory happens hole to with me. with a guillotine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Within a reason. <laughs> hey, but I'm up. open to a lot of shit, so <laughs> okay. whatever. You ready for the next fight? Let's I'm ready. All right, we got Antonio. Big Nog. Rodrigo Nogueira. He is 34-7-1. You all right, yeah. sir? Okay. There you go. Uh, versus Fabricio. Bye, Cabo. Uh, Verdum. He's 16-5-1. Big Nog. He's got some wins. He's got some submissions and stuff. I don't have the data. That's Thank you very limbs. much. I'm going to guess he's got more submissions. Than like 20 something. And then Verdum, 31% of his wins by KO, 50% by submission. Mm -hmm. So I'll start and say Big Nog's on this weird trend where he's going win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Broken limb. Win. And he's trending for a loss right now. Okay. And you got to look at the people that he's lost to and the people he's beat. So recently he's beat who? Herman, Schaub, Couture. Wob. And the piece of people he's lost to, Velasquez and Frank Mir. And Frank Mir being the first man to who not only TKO him, him, but also to break his fucking shoulder and rip it off. I cheered it the whole time. But you know he was probably injured before and or after that fight, Ingo. And I'm not saying that just because he's from Brazil, but... Things happen in MMA. Oh, Frank Muir has a testosterone level below 300. Did you know this? That's what we were told. <laughs> and some people come in the 500 to 800 range. Yes. But we weren't told who those were. Yes. I'm just saying, but I'm not saying. But when I look at this fight, I don't see how Big Nog can win it. And I want to also mention that both these guys, fucking A, how long have they been out? Like a year almost. Big Nog was out. In the closet? Uh, yeah, fuck. They're both <laughs> gay as fuck, just sucking dicks all day long. Okay. You know, fucking taking them in the ears. Cocks That's the ears. how I like it. They wake up and it's like one in the right, Flossing one in the left. Roll out with the cock. Like hello, <laughs> come on, let's go. Just get the ear waxed out. Yeah, or in whatever. <laughs> That's how they do it in, in Brazil. Yeah, I didn't say it. You did. Oh, you're done okay. now. Uh, what? I don't know. Tirano <laughs> Santos. Just yell out some Brazilian name. Okay. Anambro. Anderson Silva. You were saying you don't see a way or Noguera wins this fight? Yeah, because he, he fuck goddamn, he's 37. He's been in so many wars. <laughs> he's like the fucking bionic man. He's got like uh, two fake hips, one fake testicle. Uh, God knows uh, what else is uh, surgically repaired titanium arm. on this motherfucker. Yeah. And then, but the flip side of the coin is okay, now you look at Verdum too. He's taking a year off of his life to fucking coach this Ultimate Fighter show, which I don't think they're going to do another one in Brazil, is a rumor, but fuck. It's not popular. I, I'm not quite sure, but his he's been looking like the more complete fighter of late, and his Muay Thai and his stand-up is looking on point, so I don't see any chance for Noguera. Granted, it's in Brazil, but you're fighting a Brazilian, so fuck you. You lose. Sorry. Even, if, even if you're Brazilian? Yep. Someone, someone well, from Brazil's got to lose. This, this was a rematch from, of, from 2006. Of, from 2006, I think... He, what I what I was trying to look at was what? since that time, what has either guy done differently to where they meet now? How many years is that? Seven, seven years later. Yeah, seven years later. What's different? So here's what I see. I see that Noguera's older. Noguera's been through wars. Noguera's broken some shit. Broken limbs. Noguera's been knocked out. I mean, you've started to see the wear and tear on Noguera. Then I look at Verdum and I say, here's a guy who's improved his stand up has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most dangerous strikers in the game in Overeem. And laid on his back a lot of that fight and put Fine, on one of but, the most boring fights in yes, maybe history. But at the same time, when it came time, I mean, he took it to Overeem. He, he clocked him. You know, he submitted Fedor. He's done a lot of weird... He's done a lot of crazy shit in that seven He's years. evolving. Yes, he is. And I will say that he is way more athletic than Noguera. And I'm going to say that Noguera, while being one of the craftiest grapplers in the game i feel like age has finally caught up to he's him he's a step slow it's just he's slow he's slow in his boxing he's slow in his his jujitsu it's just it's time man he's getting old or doom's very athletic they're both extremely skilled on the ground of course noguera is, is probably more technical but i think at some point the technicality whoever says to you that jujitsu takes no doesn't take strength they're lying because i'm telling you it's not what? the best technique that wins all the time if two guys are equal or somewhat equal and one guy is way stronger, way faster, the 
uh, that guy will win. It's just that's how it works. It's 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 just normal. It's it's don't let people tell you the lie of jujitsu. True that. Technicality always beats strength. Not Bullshit. true. It's not true. Unless so, you're Hoist Gracie and no one knows what the fuck jujitsu is. But it's just, those are different times. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's, it's not 20 the same. years ago. It's, it's not the same. same. So a strong wrestler can beat a jujitsu guy. You know, nine times out of ten. Exactly. So for that reason, I'm gonna agree with you. I say Verdum uh, will knock Nogueira out. Oh. In the second round, I think Noguera has been through too many wars. I love the guy. I think he's amazing. Obviously, he's one of the most, um, you know, storied careers in MMA. He's like up there with Vanderlei Silva, Fedor, like these guys that have just been around forever. But I want to say that if you're getting your arms broken, you're yep. fucking, you're getting knocked out. Just it's time, man. It's it's time to hang it up. You know, you've you've done all you can. I think I'm gonna start laughing. What? He won't train the gays, Ingo. <laughs> yeah, sorry. that's another thing. I'm sorry, it's, a, it's like it's old, but it's still. Verdum should me, uh, win. He really should. But uh, that being said, Noguera is like a cat, man. He's fucking has <laughs> nine lives. I swear to God, this guy pulls shit out of nowhere. So it's just a matter, of, and you know who's in better shape. Who, I think Verdum, hands down, should win this. He should. I'm taking him by a fucking submission, fucking second round. Verdum, you submission. call sub. I call knockout. Second round, we agree. We're probably both going to be wrong. No Gareth. And gonna... Verdum should get a title shot if he wins. I think that's think the so? rumor going around. Okay. Yep. He Why should. Not? He took a year off of his life for this shit. Yeah. Concentrate and ask again. Dude, he, could, he could freaking beat. He could. He can. Totally could. He could. Uh, Magic 8 Ball is going to take Big Nog. King's whole game is taking guys down. Round I don't know, but his whole game is speed too. Yeah. But, you know, let's see how your... Speed kills, Matt. Your shit... It does. And... See how that works. Yeah. All right. You ready for some ass to nuts? I have to take a sip because it's a long question. I'm start ready this shit. for some ass. Got any ass on the show? Only Brazilian, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a Brazilian lady here next time for you. Just showing me her ass? Yes. Just when, randomly just Stick bending over just for you. Instead just, of like, what do they call that? Motor boating? Is there, what's the term when you're ass boating? You just <laughs> deemed it right there. Ass voting. Ass voting. Ass cheap voting. All right. Brent Lobsey. Yeah, see. <clears throat> just bear with me. If a fighter is getting shots plowed into the back of his head, why can't the ref stop the fight, deduct a point, warning, and give the wounded opponent a chance to get back into it? Too many times the fight is called off and controversy ensues, a la Eric Silva, Dan Velasquez, Travis Brown, Attacking fighters should look for other ways to finish a hurt opponent rather than just going berserker. Don't you reckon? I like how, I appreciate how you use the word reckon there. <laughs> I haven't heard a good reckoning in a while. So. Well, here's the thing. Respect. I'm not a fighter, and I would imagine. I, no, I, I would imagine in that moment, it's very difficult to uh, keep your wits about you, especially if you think you have an opportunity to, to stop the fight. Maybe not everyone has that um, calm of nature. What is that? The The... Dan Hardy calls it the not not the reptilian mind, yeah, but yeah. the other one. Maybe maybe you're too much into. Sometimes it, you flip the switch. Yeah, you're in, it's like, too late. Mode. There's no way to turn it off. So I'm I'm not gonna say that a guy can can think that. Uh, it's easy. I'm I'm sitting on my couch. I'm not. There's not another guy trying to kill me. You know, it's it's different. So no, well, once you have that taste of blood, you want to finish it. Yeah. And sometimes when you're hitting a guy, and I think we talked about that with uh, Mr. Kaiser. The guy, like, in mid-blow will turn his head, and you happen to hit him in the back of the head, and you can't control it. And I'll say that in another case, uh, look at the Brock Lesnar versus Frank Mir one. Brock hit Frank, I think, once in the back of the head. Just once. And, and fucking the Maz, the Maz was like, stopped Time it, up! deducted a point, and fucking stood them up. So, I mean... That the one Maz. completely changed. We should get him on the show. <laughs> fucking <the> Maz. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> Only if he grows a fucking 70s stash back. Otherwise, he's out. <laughs> okay. Maz out. So that fight, it completely changed the outcome because Brock was in complete control and dominating, and then you fucking taking a point away. But in these other fights, it's like heat of the moment, and I don't think that one blow to the back of the head, technically, yes, illegal, but not fight changing to me. Sure. So, I agree. Should happen. Did we answer the question? I think you reckoned it right. Okay. So Ryan Smith says, uh, since Little Nog is hurt, you think Chael versus Shogun would be a good co-main event for UFC 161? I think Chael might retire. It might be retired. Yeah, I think he's gonna fight Vanderlei. 
I think he's got that one. No, I mean, after that. I don't, I mean. Oh, after that, that, that yeah, fight? Yeah, I think he's done after that. What Fair else enough. is he got? I mean, who's he, who else is he going to talk shit to? I mean, I guess. Wait, I don't know. It's just, I think he's got <laughs> a, goes on. a longer career being like a commentator. Right. I wonder how he does cage side. We should see him. Oh, speaking of that, how about the, the matchup for the first UFC on, what is it? Fox Sports 1, I thought they said it was going to be Anik and Rogan. What was that about? No Goldberg? Curious. Mm. Very curious. Dirt Hold asks, who would be worse to have a beer with, Benson Henderson or Greg Jackson? I, I, don't, I don't understand the question. It doesn't make sense. I'd like to have a beer with both of them. Why? What? what, what? <laughs> who do you think is going to be the worst person, though, out of Have a beer two? with? Yeah. Probably. I, it's easy. Come I'd on, probably say Ben Henderson. Me. Yes. Yeah. I don't even think Ben's going to drink. I think he's too Jesus freak. Yeah. I think Greg, Greg's probably a cool motherfucker. He walks into a place and he's like. He's got like a stub foot. He probably too. has a wallet that says bad motherfucker, right? <laughs> <laughs> he probably I think he does. does. <laughs> he does. No rampage. He though. seems like a cool dude. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ben seems all right, too. He does seem a little bit clean cut. He's too clean for me. Yeah. I can't hang out with the clean cleans. Ah, too boring. All right, uh, Mark Relaford. Do you think uh, if Josh Barnett beats Mir, he would deserve a top 10 guy, or should he have a few fights before he gets one? Is that official? Yes. Okay. 161? Is that what? No, 164. I think that's in Milwaukee. Before, okay. oh, oh, shit. That's here? Oh, we're going. <laughs> we're going for <laughs> sure. That one just, yeah. yeah. That's just like, yeah. yeah that one just, uh, Of course. Last year, the UFC had like a 35% injury rate on the card, yeah. so you never know how that shit's going to happen. But, yep. um, uh, Josh is a weird, I'm not sure, man. He's I, like the war master. Yeah, he is. But the thing is, is with what? him, I look at how Cormier dismantled his, his offensive grappling, even on the, it's just like, I don't know what to do with the guy. I think I'd like to see him fight one more person after Mir, because... Mir seems like the gatekeeper at the heavyweight division. Well, he's kind of like on the yeah, the down right now. Yeah. Especially with with a testosterone level below 300. Well, he needs to get up in the 800 crazy. level. I let's right here. I want to be in the 8s. So let's see how that works out. It's funny he mentioned those numbers cuz I was I I'm like I told you before I had mine tested. Yeah. And I'm on the low level of normal, but I'm also not a professional athlete. Well, so. what's low? What's the normal range? Well, even even Craig, the doctor told yeah. me that I was normal, but he said I was on the low level of normal, but it's still normal. I tested it in the ones. Did you? At oh, one point. Not that low. I was in the 100s. I was like 390 something or 410, something like that, which he said was fine. Yeah, I, see, I should be fucking juicing nonstop. Maybe I should have took like your twice, Jack twice the lane juicer. <laughs> yeah, I threw that fucker out. I don't even, <laughs> I found it in my garage in a box. I'm like, really? It's brand new. It's yeah. like I, I was like, did I use this ever? And like, I think I used it once. Things were expensive. I think it was a wedding gift. Probably. Yeah. You get a lot of shit, and you're like, <laughs> what like, the fuck is this? It just I don't know. sits. I have a blender. And you I like the blender. You need you regift it to people. Like what? All right, Michael Jerome Eddy is John Jones the most unpopular slash hated champion in UFC history. Has there been a lot of hate for him recently? I haven't. Fuck heard. yeah! You ever listen to the booze this guy gets? Even for his last fight, when he came out for the weigh-ins, how yeah. many booze did he get? He gets a lot. I mean, well, I'll just say you reap what you sow because you throw a DUI and a fucking uh, cancellation of a card because you don't want to take a fight on short notice. Should you just play it up? I think at this point, maybe you should just play it up. Play the heel? Fuck it. Go Come full off, heel? Flip everybody off. Yeah. Fuck you all. Well, I don't know if Nike likes that, but I, I like it. I would <laughs> might respect the guy more. Do it. You guys got fucking lions as his picture on Twitter. He keeps updating it to different lions. So uh -huh. I don't know what that means. Maybe he's, he's a, young. Maybe he's, he's a fan 26? of the Lion King. He, yeah, he's in his. He's ten years he's younger 25. than me. Like how many years younger than you? A lot. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I'm gonna it's be forty different. this year, bitch. Four oh, bitch. Oh, things are gonna get crazy around here. Yeah, I'm gonna be so TRT'd up. You watch. We gotta do something interesting for your fortieth birthday. I'm thinking Amsterdam is in our oh. future. Okay. I think. I think for your 40th birthday, I could sneak that by the, by the old think? lady. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Are we taking a bunch of people with us? I think we should have a crew. Okay. And we should have some fun. All right. We're taking a crew then. Let's do this. I think this. we should figure Let's out something. Let's do this shit. 40, there should be something interesting that happens. Uh, Even if it's just like three days. 
like, fine. You, know, I, you don't want to go too I'm long. I'm not talking about like a week. Crazy. I'm talking like a few days. Something interesting. A world tour. A world tour. In one week. Yeah. <laughs> one week. Let's hit a bunch of, let's hit like three countries. Amsterdam? That's definitely a country. Country. I re- I've always wanted to go to England. Is there good stuff there? I think we. I think Brazil needs to be on the roadmap. That's so fucking far from Amsterdam. Are you kidding well, me? I said world tour and go. We're fucking all over. Brazil's like sixteen hours from here, south, and then it's like another twenty-five hours is it, is north. It safe, Brazil. Yeah, sure. Let's probably you go to Brazil favelas? for one, one day. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to figure that one out. If you want to do, if you want to do Amsterdam, you you need to do Europe, not Brazil. <laughs> fucking... I'm just looking at places I want to go. That I'm becomes thinking... like a fucking year long year trip. It's crazy. <laughs> oh. We're never coming back. We're Japan. just going. I think you would dig Japan. Japan. I've been to Japan. I like it. I, I wish I could spend more time there. It's, real, it's fucking. I don't know about your food allergy though. It's, that's the weird. I don't thing. know, but sushi should be okay. I think it should. I love. I'm they speak the language. The shit out of some sushi right now. I hear you. I hear <laughs> you, brother. All right, let's knock this shit out. Okay. All right. Uh, Andrew, I'm asked, what do you think of Rampage signing a contract with Bellator? And who do you think he should fight first? Did he do it? Uh, this, there's a rumor out there. And I forgot. I, I don't know if it's a site out of Brazil, but someone, someone's saying he signed with Bellator. Good. Him and King will have beef. Make that shit happen. That's fun. Yeah, I'm down. Sean Marshall, how do you feel about the upcoming Rashad Evans versus Dan Henderson fight? Do you think the loser should retire? And how do you see each of them winning? Well, I don't think Rashad is as old as Dan Henderson. No. Rashad's um, mid-30s. Dan, <laughs> Dan's mid-40s. I mean, Dan could retire, but he's just one of those. He reminds me of, like, Clint Eastwood or, like, Jack Pounds. He's, like, one of yeah, those old fuck fucking, yeah. like. Gritty old school guys, and he's got old man strength. Yeah, Chris Chelios, we talked about yeah. earlier, like that kind of you know, Brett Hall, it's just like old school kind of dudes. And it's old school hockey, you can do whatever you sure? want. That's the fucking have you seen Slapshot yet, by the way? Of course, I've seen the movie. Okay. I, don't even talk about it. I just haven't seen it in a long time. <laughs> I know that's your favorite. I was about the blasphemy, you <laughs> of course. <laughs> I look up it. at the fucking uh, hey, hey, hey. handsome brothers up there, yeah, I've seen it a bunch of times. Okay. You guys should see it if you haven't seen it. It's old school, 1970s. Big Bush. They don't, I don't know if they're only naked, but they show titties. They show that was the first titty I ever saw, I think. Should we do it? Movie titty. Oh, really? Yeah, me and my cousin stole that yeah. movie from our Ooh, uncle. There's boobies. And I was like, holy shit, look at that booby. Sloping like a ski slope. Kids these days, they have the internet. But that miracle of discovery no longer happens. You Go straight from oh instead of God. movies, it's like ass to mouth is the first thing you see. <laughs> There's no like, and, like, and and I think they all said like the facial is like, do people is that how you are expected to finish now? Pretty much. I don't remember that existing back in the day. Yeah, like I'm expected to finish on your face now. They're probably doing that. Was in that Dice fucking, said that shit? He's uh, like, if you. The girl, if you date a girl and you don't come in her face, she thinks you don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It would not surprise hey. me. Yeah. Uh, Alejandro Madero Valentin, uh, your thoughts on Anderson Silva's new 10-fight contract? Uh, he only wanted four more fights. Do you think he will drop to 170 or go up as a heavyweight? No to both questions. Both. I think he stays at 185. I think he never fights 10 fights. The UFC just... It's to, lock him they up. They want man. to lock him up for the end of his. Whenever he's done, he can be done. He's locked up forever. Yep, it's over. Forever. Uh, and ever. Okay. Regular Little Fountain. Do you see Dana White buying Nick Diaz promotion if it starts being successful? It hasn't even started yet. It could be the best thing ever. It's run by a bunch of potheads. What? How good could it be? Nah, I doubt that. It's just fucking put his name on it. I bet you there's Gary Shaw in the background. Or Scott Coker. Somebody's in the background. I feel like we should go, but it's too far. Stockton? I ain't going to fucking Stockton. Why not? You got here, Ryan? I'm from Detroit. I'm not scared. Bitch. 209. Okay. West Coast. Gangster. Concealed carry. Coming to Illinois. <laughs> do, those, do those work across state lines, by the what? way? CCW? Concealed carry? No. Uh, well, I'm just carrying it. I don't anyway. think so. But they're gangsters. You can just have guns. I carry. The point. Let them have a, have a couple of promotions. Dude, it's not that easy to put on like fights. So. I thought you were going to say carry a gun with it. No. I want a shotgun. Sure. Stick it in your pocket. Done. 
Go big or go home. You should be like, have like a, one of those holsters. Oh, like fucking the Terminator bag. style. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll <laughs> yeah. whip it around as I reload. How long did you practice that shit for? That's like, <laughs> I'm probably about a day. Yeah. What's he up to? He's how's this, how's this Schwarzenegger? I heard, he's got a movie out, doesn't he? Yep. Not doing too well, is it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's close this fucker out. Last World question. Last question. Prime you. Uh, who would you least like to see in the opposite corner if you fought in the UFC and why? That's easy. Go ahead. GSP. He's going to decision my ass and make me look stupid. Oh. I'll take anybody else. I'll take Silva, fucking any heavyweight. Knock me out quick. It'll be over. GSP is going to ground upon me, make me look dumb for He's 25 probably minutes. Fuck you, too. You know you want to. 25 minutes of horror. I prefer it to be over quick. Horror. What do you say? There's one guy that scares me. I'm not quite sure why. I, I, I'll fight anybody. I'd get in there, and I know I'm gonna get murdered. But Rampage, for some reason, seem in his prime. See, uh, like I know the game plan to beat him, but for whatever reason, stay he out of hook range. To, yeah, <laughs> I'll be throwing many a leg kicks, many a push kicks, just like um, keep off. I don't know, maybe big black cocks coming at me. Like he's gonna big, do bad things to big me, big dude. And then the other guy is Paul Harris. Just because that oh, yeah, motherfucker shows no restraint. Yeah. He doesn't know what a fucking tap means. And I know he's going to get it, that little fire plug motherfucker. Lucino is going to fuck your shit up. So, Gary. those guys. I mean, I I, I don't want to fight anybody anymore. <laughs> done, Ingo. Done. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Now, 15 years out, yeah. a little bit smarter. Knowledge. Got any knowledge? <laughs> I don't want to tell the story. But I'm going to. Okay. So I'm walking my dog the other day, and uh, I'm just walking around the block. And mind you, when was it? About a week ago, my dog got viciously attacked by two other dogs, and my wife got bit in the process. So that was where the dog bite thing came. And I don't mm-hmm. know. She didn't know. She thinks it was my dog that bit her. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It might have been. Are you going to post dog. a photo of this ridiculousness? No, because it's gotten progressively and worse it... and worse, and now it's somewhat infected. But she did go to the doctor and get a tetanus. She shot got her tetanus, right? Is and she... antibiotics. I haven't seen her. Is she okay? Is yeah, she... it's just it, it's fucking worse and worse. So like the dog bite was like this big around. Now the bruise and surrounding area is like that big on the thigh area. So now I'm doing all the dog walking, and you know, like I told her before, I'm like just. Take some fucking pepper spray with you or something. Like, fucking hose the dog down. So or, now big, or big black cock. Right. So now I'm... Pull it out. Now I get an option. I bring the pepper spray with me, just yeah. in case. Because there's so many options. Every time I walk the dog, like, okay, here's another dog without a leash. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay, here's a German Shepherd bum-rushing a two-foot fence. There's all these issues. And then today, I was walking the dog... At, and there's this house that has three dogs, and they're always, rawr, 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 my dog, rawr, fucking Rhodesian Ridgeback, German Shepherd, my dog. And uh, they had two kids, and the kids were going into the door as I'm walking by, and the screen door stayed open about six inches. I'm just, I just put my hand in my pocket, and I'm like, okay, let's, this is going to be ugly, because if a dog comes out, it's going to be three. And against my dog, I'm just going to let go of the leash and mm-hmm. fucking try to spray them first and hope for the best. But anyway, back to the original story. This is, this is, I live in a dangerous area because people are getting bit by dogs. No bullshit all the time in my area. So uh, I'm walking a dog, and I'm like... Double tap. Three, four... Yeah, <laughs> seriously, I'm going to start packing. Uh, I'm like three houses away, and there's a fucking crazy guy. I always hear fucking yelling, and I don't know what his problem is, so... I get near his house, and I hear him yelling and screaming. I don't know if he's yelling at himself, yelling at someone else, or yelling at someone on the phone. So I get close to the driveway because he's in his pickup truck, and it's a little jacked up. And I figure I better stop because i got a bad feeling here. And sure as shit, this motherfucker throws it in reverse, and beep, 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 boom, right past me. And I, I was kind of in shock. Because I, I knew this was going to happen, but I couldn't believe it just happened. So I couldn't get anything out of my mouth except this. And the only thing this fucker gets out of his mouth is... Nah! At me. 
So, <laughs> sorry, I just blew everybody's speakers out oh, well. yet again. But what the fuck is that about? Is, uh, was he fighting with his woman, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Is he crazy? He might have been. And, and I was telling this story to, like, all these, like, first graders and second graders as we're taking a soccer practice. And one of the girls says, maybe he, he didn't get to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. He did the shit himself. Yeah. I don't know. But a little sketchy. I got problems with this. People are crazy, man. You got you to gotta be on point all the time. And more so when you're walking a dog. I've never seen this before. Normally when you're walking, you don't have to worry about shit, but... Seems like when you have a dog, like I'm on like uh, terror alert red always, or like on a scale of one to ten, I'm always on a nine. Twelve. Now. I'm always on nine, just ready. Eleven. Just ready. I don't know about you. You see that over in your block of the woods when you're walking your dog? Uh, no. I mean, we got the we got neighbors with dogs, and and some of them are some of their dogs are fucking crazy. But yeah, it, what are you gonna do? It's like I don't know. I'll fuck up a dog if it tries to bite my ass. I'm, we don't have big dogs in our neighborhood. They're mostly smaller ones. So, you know, my dogs used to be real aggressive. And now they've gotten older. And now they're pretty calm. Mm-hmm. They kind of relax. And the other dogs bark. And they just kind of go, what? What do you want? Yeah. I don't know. Hanging out. Taking my shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going <laughs> on? Dumping right here. All right. Just don't bother me. Yeah. I, I think, you know, so many people these days own dogs and they don't. Uh, own up to the responsibility. That's a problem. It's yeah. a big responsibility. Yes. So, it's unfortunate, but, you know, what are you going to do? Tickets will be issued. <laughs> Counties will be called. Yes. Double taps will happen. Yeah. Hey, I, I forgot. I, I was actually in a dog fight once before. I forgot that. One of my cousins, I was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> it was... Plane versus plane. <laughs> I went vertical. <laughs> or wait, I went inverted. That's one thing I've always wanted to do. You know they have that? What's that? The fucking... Flight you, school? No, you can go to like this crazy flight school where you dog fight at the end. <laughs> I've wanted to do that forever. You pepper spray each other? No, dude. But it's all like, uh, you know, laser guided stuff. But you fly like a P-51, like all these old school planes, and then you have like a dog I'm going to Red Baron, bitch. Yeah, I think Deal you should that. do that shit. Done. I think my wife will probably kill me if I do that. But oh, jumped out of a plane before. It's not You're that crazy. dangerous. That's fucking crazy. Have you I don't that? have time for that. No. You can do it. I'm not going to do that shit now. Fuck that. Yeah, now I'm done. Good. My thrill seeking days over. <laughs> over. That was awesome. I still remember vividly that whole experience. So, oh, good. You haven't jumped out of a plane and you have no kids or wife? Yeah. Do it. It's worth it. If you have a wife, you should do it. You got to give them a little sense of adventure. Yeah, that's true. That goes back to what I was saying. Sometimes you gotta mix it up. Don't right. be don't be all like beta and shit. That's right. Mix in the alpha. Get a good dog. That's what I'm Pull saying. Pull your cock out and like, that's good. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it works every time. Every time. Unless there's a guillotine on the other side. <laughs> yeah, unless go, it's through oh, a hole. Oh. Don't ever stick your dick in a hole. That's a good advice. Never. Never. You don't know what's on the other side that's of that. Right. Unless you can see it, don't do it. They just bite. Yeah, I'll <laughs> set you straight. Yeah. On that note, that has been this week's edition of Mountain Nuts. My name is Ingo Weigold. Oh, wait, I think it closed too early. Whoa. I'm Agra with premature closing. Stay tuned because in a couple of days, we have Keith Kaiser, oh. Executive Director of Nevada Athletic Commission, on the show. He has a lot to say. He has shit to say. He talked about marijuana, testosterone replacement therapy. What else? Rule changes. Illegal illegal stuff. In gloves. gloves. Eye pokes. Eye pokes. Is he it the fighter? Him. Is it the glove? He tells us all is about it the Gracies? His, what, he does, what he does on a daily basis, which apparently is a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> he just jerks <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, people He's got work. lots of lube. Yeah. And, so. and by the way, hey, before I cut out, speaking of lube, be wary of lubes because they have parabens, so you're going to have to research Go look at your lube. Make sure there's paraben free lube. <laughs> paraben free lube. <laughs> I didn't know this. I just read an article the PTA. other day. I had to upgrade my lube. What's it called? Ball cancer? Dick cancer? <laughs> Parabens cause cancer. And yeah, paraben, your dick just falls it's, right off. It sucks because. You're jerking off and your dick just falls in your hand. No, I'm just saying. It just turns your, black and woman, falls off. The parabens, it goes straight into the bloodstream. So you got to be careful. So find yourself some paraben free. Well, let's go straight into this bloodstream. 
sperm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it goes right in your ass, it probably goes in your bloodstream twice as much. You but go. you know what? Then you're injecting your lady with testosterone. So he's like, Chris Cyborg, Sean. Deal with it, ladies. Correct. Deal with it. All right, that's it. See you guys later. Thanks for playing.